on to the, today's car that goes clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's about right. Nineteen eighty six Volkswagen Quantum Station Wagon uh, was my daily driver over the winter. Um, again, you're sensing a theme here. We're doing a, a this. I haven't had this for a year yet. No, this is I've only had it since last summer, like last yeah, July like, or yeah, August. It's, or it's coming like up that. on a year, but it's not quite yeah. there. Uh, but this essentially became my daily driver over the winter, and it has developed a few problems as things do when you drive 35, 40 year old cars on the regular. Uh, so today we're going to get into a couple of things that need to be addressed that are kind of safety issues. Let's get into it. Going down the road feeling bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not ideal. No. Nope. One ringy dingy. Why would it be tight? Because you're getting it off of that freaking A arm now, right? Yes. And then we got to separate the. I think the next step is going to be separating it from steering. A B ratchet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> so we put away our freaking ball pocket kit. Oh yeah. There it goes. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I didn't think that one was going to be as wild as that as the other yeah, ones. They are. It's no joke. <laughs> Fool me once. I mean, seven times. There we go. Okay. Um, a good video to watch on this is uh, Not Practical us. Enthusiast, as the YouTube channel. Uh, dude has an Audi 5000 that he was doing this rehab on all of this. This is kind of what I watched to, uh, to get this out. <laughs> I put this axle in this car without taking this off and that was a struggle bus. That, should have done that. That, that, would have, that would have made that job. Which, I mean, just along the lines of the Acura project that we just finished, it seems like in these front wheel drive cars, the right answer is always undo the bottom and let it swing away. Right. Well, except for that one. Um, we're not the whatever freaking CL you watched. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or did you just strip it all out? One of the two. <gasps> is that oh that's that's not good that's that's not good did that loosen yeah That was not the right way to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so that's, you have, yeah, that whole. Yeah, that's, this is, uh, this is uh, gone. That ain't right. No, this is gone. Uh, so that's what we've got new here. We've got new little. And you've got a new strut to put in there, right? Yep. Here. Um, so this is the shock that's failed, right? So like I can, I can't push this down. This is, and if I do it, it comes back. This, this is a, the one that came a out of a worn shock. Yeah, this is the one that came out of the car and like it, it, it does, it doesn't yeah, it shock. Doesn't, it doesn't, like it doesn't read that. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the part numbers for replace replacements, I got the sax version. You can kind of see it. This is exactly one millimeter in diameter difference than this one and it doesn't fit in in here oh, so it, it stops right there it won't go it won't go in 
So, and, and these are like Rock Auto, you know, here's the, here's the list of ones you can buy. It's in the same list. I, get, I just happen to get the same brand. To, to, when, when I found that out, I went back and bought the, the same brand and it, and it slides right in. So. Gotcha. So you have the right set. I do now. You but just like, have an extra wrong set. I have an extra wrong set. So I gotta, now I've got to navigate the return, the Rock Auto return, which is, is a yeah. thing. All right. Here we go. One, two, 18, 18 and a half. Gotcha. Same, same. Looks the same to me. And this is the one that was actually bad. This, that's, one's, this one's toast. That's why we're doing this. Yeah. Oh yeah, wiggle that again. That was, yeah, that's not great. It shouldn't be that easy. Yeah, well, it sounds like we, didn't we have to like destroy this to get it off or whatever. It's. She's dead, Jim. Yeah, because the tie rod arm faces forward. Right. So that's pretty freaking easy. Wait, can we put a nut at the top to just hang that thing gently? Boom! Did that get, actually get it done? Yep. We can tighten everything up after we get all the, yeah, the pieces. Yeah, because we're, we're totally not going to forget to tighten everything. <laughs> <laughs> all the pieces are here. We just need to torque everything. Yeah. Um, also get the, and we'll get the brake caliper on as the last thing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. It just turned. It just turned. <laughs> yeah. just... What did you just remember that you don't have? It's not on the card. <laughs> Life is hard. It's harder when you're dumb. Eat your, eat your Wheaties. <laughs> yeah. Put, put the spring, put back, the spring on. back on here. I mean, those things. Man, I went down to Napa and I bought myself a nice $80 little pump right off, right off the counter. Put it in, and you know what I mean? It thing starts like a charm move on. So that's. It's great. Oh wait, you mean uh, you you wired in an electric pump? A little helper pump. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and starts, and it, it just yeah. starts like it used to. You know, yeah. So I'm not even messing with it. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah, she's wet. Steve Brown. Citroen broker to the stars. <laughs> That's how you win on YouTube. Is you find you find a, a very obscure topic and you be, and you become the expert. You, you become the. the... That's good. Are so, you guys put in without the spring? That's what we did on the other side. How did you get that far? With the, I mean. That would be something I would do. I mean, but you guys? We did it. Did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, we did it. You just we, missed we, it. You and we were very proud of ourselves. We actually went together fairly smoothly. something else.